It was big. For, it was big for me to watch him. I think just as, just as good as it was him doing it. Yeah. Um, like I said, I seen Anton at his highest, and I seen him at his lowest. And I, I said before that he was gonna be the reason. That, you know, we go far. He was gonna step up, and he, he did that. And I wasn't surprised at all. Like I said, in high school, yeah. I seen him score 50 point games. Yeah. And I'm just happy for him, man. Do his struggle and being mentally drained all year, and last year not getting playing time. But, you know, he got that mindset every time he get in, it's an opportunity to, to step up big, and he did that today. Do you feel like once that kind of, he had that awkward rim shot where it kind of poked off the backside of the rim and popped up and in, did you, you know, when you're, you're a shooter, when you saw that, really, like, hmm, this, could, this could be something. Man, anytime the ball go in, you should be happy about it. I don't care who you is. I don't care how ugly the shot is. <laughs> If it go in, that's that's good. And when I see that, I'm just happy for him. Man. Every time he score, any of my teammates score, I'm happy for him. No matter how we get it. You all are elite eight, buddy. Feels amazing. It feels amazing. Like I said, I, I haven't took it in yet, man. Until I talk to my family, see how happy they is. I'm a guy that don't really show my emotions, all like that. My, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited, and we're not done yet. We're not I saw done your yet. Mom out there. She is so proud. What does she mean to you? She means a lot. Man. She means a lot. Her, her and all my family. Uh, a lot of people know my story. A lot of people don't. I've been through a lot. Seen a lot. Uh, not my, my dad not being here. And she, her, my grandma, my aunties. You know, everybody in my family have been big supporters. And I couldn't thank them enough. And just for me being on the stage to, to, to show my brother him being here, he, how he look up to me, and he's on his way to do the same thing I'm doing. It's just amazing because you know he's he's him and my sisters my biggest my. Uh, the only people I mainly do it for, and just to do that in front of him and him seeing me being successful at this stage is amazing, man. When you walked off the court, did you spot family out there? Like oh yeah, they front there? row, they front row. So I seen them, I seen them the whole game, and I know they're there to support, and I can hear them, I can hear them things they saying, but you know I don't want to be locked into the game. But after we won, it was just I was just happy to see them, you know, applaud me, and, and that's just big, man. That's just big. All my family, what we've been through, the tough neighborhood we grew up in, tough area we came from, it's just big for them to see me on the stage like this. It's tough. It's fun. It's After a lot of all, fun. you and Anton have been through that moment when he comes back to the bench, you come back to the bench. There's a, there's a, there was an embrace there. It was like we're making I it. We're making it. And I told him before, you know, when we was in the ACC tournament before we played that game. I know we, we lost the first game, but he sent me a long text. And Anton is not usually like this. He sent me a long text saying he loved me, and uh, whatever, whatever he said, we're gonna go as far as I take him. You know, just hearing that from one of my brothers, man, is, is just amazing because he don't really say much. He like to joke. He he try to show like tough love. He don't really, you know. So that was big, man. I, and I said uh, probably a month ago that he was gonna be the reason. You know, we make it far. He was gonna step up in a crucial time, and he did that today. And like I said, nobody nobody don't understand our relationship. We've been through a lot. I seen him at his highest. Seen him at his lowest. He seen me at my highest. He seen me at my lowest. So people don't know our story, but we making it. We want to keep it going, man. Want to keep it going. What would you say to him when, when he came back? What when he came, when he came back to the, back the bench, when he came so back. I told him I proud of him. I told him I love him. And I told him how proud I am of him. Uh, like I said, I've seen him at his highest. I've seen him at his lowest. So I'm 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 very happy for him. I don't think nobody is happy happy for him than I am in his family. But that's amazing. That was big, man. That was big, and it just shows you how mature he is. He got in there and he and he sees his opportunity and he took he took he took it he took advantage of it. Took care of business. Mango said he remember watching the game. With you and him play where like, you had that 69 point and Manton had 40 and that was he called him a bucket getter in that game. Is that what you call him or what do you call him? Anton, he always been a bucket getter. Like I said, it was game it was games where he scored 50. He scored probably I think three 50 point games before at Hargrave. So any shot that he, he make, I'm not surprised at, at all. And, and I tell him all the time when you get in the game, do not hesitate. You know, uh, when you get you got here and then you kind of got away from your game a little bit because you know you got the coaches in your ear and you probably you know down on yourself. But I tell him when you're in there with me, when I pass you the ball, you better shoot it, man. You better shoot it. I know what you can do, so you better shoot it. I've been there when you was at hard grade, filling it, filling it up, scoring all the points, so you better shoot it. He took advantage of that, man. He did that. And I'm so proud. I'm so why proud. Translated. You've seen him in hard grade. You've seen him now. What's What's been the difference? Why, why did it take till now, do you think? Uh, I think that it took till now. It's just that he he believed in himself. And I saw, I mean, he can't he can't control his playing time. And he don't really play that much. You know, he works hard. Sometimes you just got people in front of you. And coach was playing D-Lab over him. But like I said, he never got down, man. It, it, he never really got down, and when he got in the day, he showed maturity and he stepped up big for us. So whatever happened, happened. That's in the past. We we here, we had a lead eight, so we got to win. And if he if he get in again, I'm pretty sure he's gonna have his confidence gonna be even more high. How are you such a good rebounder? Uh, it goes back to uh, uh, growing up at the park and us playing. It's the game called 33, when everybody for themselves. So I was the smallest one, but I would get in there. I, I, fight, grab, bite, I don't care what I had to do to go get the rebound. 
because you over there playing with the big guys and uh, playing everybody's taller than me. So you had to get your own rebounds for the game of 33. So I think that's where it comes from. And then now I can go back home and go to that park and I'm bigger than everybody and I can jump, I can jump higher than everybody now. I say let's play game 33 now. So I think that helped me a lot. Quentin, Quentin said Kev Morber's comments kind of made him mad that said he couldn't be pressed. Cuse said it fired him up. Did that fire you up? No, I told him that's just his personality. I've, I've been knowing him and playing against him for a while, and uh, that's his personality, and he just believed in his team. I mean, he, he, got, he got a little cocky swag. I mean, that's just him, but we just wanted to stay true to what we do and win the game, and that's the most important thing. You know, at the end of the game, he just said, man, he said win. I mean, he's a good dude, but like I said, he just believed, he believed in his team, and that's all. You can't, can't get mad at a guy for being confident. People, people, confidence in a different way. Some, some are a little cocky with it, some not. So that's just him.